So today I'm going to show you the lighting that I put in my garage. And when I built my garage, I knew I wanted to put white liner panel on the walls and also the ceiling. I insulated this garage and actually do keep it heated above uh, freezing. And you can kind of see my uh, furnace that I installed, horizontal furnace there. But, uh, you know, as you get older, you always seem to be wanting more light. And so when I built the garage, I wired the ceiling uh, with outlets. And you can kind of see that up there. Uh, hopefully it's showing up here, but you can kind of see that. And then what I did was I did some research, and at the time, LEDs weren't as popular. They were much more expensive. So I looked into the T5 light bulbs, which are... Uh, smaller diameter versus the T8s and then you know the T12s are kind of the old school ones that I don't even know if you can buy them uh, you might be able to but uh, everybody seems to have gone to the T8s and then some people have done the T T5s very bright uh, so I put an array through my garage of the fixtures and I can control uh, zones uh, down through the garage and over the bay uh, the two bays there where I have to, where I put my tractor and then uh, my truck or <clears throat> my wife's vehicle, depending on what I've got going on in here. So, you know, I got the eight foot fixtures that have uh, four four foot bulbs in them, and you know they come in a package. You you know build the unit up, wire it. I bought a bunch of plugs so that I could plug them into the ceiling. So if I do have a ballast or something go wrong with one. Literally just need to get up there, unplug it. Um, I have S hooks on chains, bring the fixture down, can do whatever repairs are necessary, and uh, good to go, put it back up. So it's very bright in here. I, I like to say that I can be, you know, kind of underneath my tractor and I don't need a work light. It's not quite like that, but it's, it's pretty bright in here. And when I want to work on something, you know, definitely lots of light so that I can see what's going on. So, you know, if you're looking at the T5 lights, uh, I do recommend them, uh, at least based on my experience. Of course, you know, now the LEDs seem to be coming out with some lower cost options. And uh, <clears throat> you know, I got to say, they're pretty attractive too. So, you know, I imagine if I was building the garage today, I would probably be considering or I definitely would be uh, investigating the LED lights, but these have worked very well for me and uh, you know seem to be a, a good solution. So yeah, just wanted to give a little report out on the T5 lighting and say that you know definitely does a nice job and lights up my garage with no problems. Thanks a lot. Take care.